The Attorney General Lynn Fitch, who was in Washington, D.C. in December when the oral arguments happened before the High Court, released the following statement. It says, we will let the Supreme Court speak for itself and wait for the court's official opinion. There was also a statement from the Center for Reproductive Rights. It says, in part, if the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade, it would represent the most damaging setback to rights of women in the history of our country. Now, this issue has been highly contested for years. Yeah, we will take a look back at some of the rallies and protests on the day of the initial Supreme Court hearing. Just five months ago, the state and the Jackson Women's Health Organization argued in front of the high court over Mississippi's ban on abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy. There were rallies and protests around the city as Supreme Court justices heard oral arguments. There was a lot of emotion on both sides of the issue. A pro-choice group rallied in downtown Jackson, preparing for the possibility that Roe v. Wade could be overturned. And a small group also joined the Agriculture and Commerce Commissioner Andy Gibson at the Ag Museum for a watch party. I'm not very hopeful because we have a, a, an anti-majority Supreme Court that has been very vocal about their opposition to Roe. I think we've got the votes to uphold this law, and I think we're going to be successful. I believe that. And last year, people joined outside the abortion clinic, the only one in Mississippi. Some praying justices overturn Roe versus Wade, others to protest they keep it.